Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve this absolute value e inequality as well as um, solve it and then check our solutions. I think that's what I wanted to do. So remember, when we're trying to, um, when we're solving absolute value inequality, we got to have two cases. But before we can get to two cases, we got to isolate the absolute value. So if there's one thing you remember from this is please isolate the absolute value before you create two cases. So here I have the absolute value and then I have this added, this plus three, right? So to isolate this, I'm going to subtract 3 on both sides. Now I have absolute value of x plus 4 is equal to 14. Now I can set up my two cases. And the two cases, remember, when we're dealing with absolute value, you know, you can have a negative number inside absolute value equals 1, or you can have the positive number, and that they're still going to equal the same, um, same value if, they're, if they were inside of the absolute value. So I, to get rid of the absolute value, I create my two cases, where x plus 4 could equal positive 14 or x plus 4 could equal negative 14. So now, ladies and gentlemen, all I'm simply going to do is now solve my uh, one-step equations. So I'll subtract 4 on both sides, subtract 4 on both sides. So therefore, I have x equals 10 um, and x equals uh, negative 18. Now, a lot of times with absolute value, we want to make sure uh, we can determine that uh, both these solutions are going to be true. So I'll plug 10 into for x. So I have 10 plus 4 is 14. Absolute value 14 is positive 14. Plus 3 is 17. 17 equals 17. Good. Do negative 18. Negative 18 plus 4 is negative 14. Absolute value of negative 14 is positive 14. Plus 3 is 17. 17 equals 17. Good. Both solutions work. Thanks.